Do you hear that rain in the background? I hope you do because it's part of what I'm going to talk about today. The word is nectar, and it's a word that uh, I started using back in the day during my rebirth. Uh, it's an important word. An ex-girlfriend of mine uh, made a... Uh, a picture of a hummingbird and I had it tattooed on my left bicep as a reminder to seek nectar. So I'll explain. I know you hate when I sip coffee. coffee. Uh, it's, it is also my nectar. Okay. So today, uh, as I was doing my daily journaling, I decided to write down some nectar in my life. And now the importance of this because it is a practice, it is an ability, is that if you don't have the ability to find life in your life, and this comes from my own story, this isn't something that I, I you know, learned in therapy school. Um, I never had the ability to find life in my life. I, because of that, was set on just chasing and pausing life. And if you listen um, to my podcast or watch my videos, you know this, right? And then you just live a very grayed out life. And so as a practice, if you – oh, now you can hear the rain. Can you? Little uh, – what is that called? ASMR, all that audio stuff that people are doing these days. Um, if you find – nectar in your life as a practice um, or better yet if you can't do that you'll always be chasing and trying uh, and tying things to things that may or may not come and this could be love this could be a career you know this could be anything so what you do is then you wait and you hope and you sit on your couch with your fingers crossed um and then life starts to be stripped away. And this is by you. You strip life out of your life because you don't have the ability to practice nectar. Well, it's raining hard now. Okay, so here's some nectar in my life. Before it starts pouring and the nectar becomes uh, not nectar. <laughs> But I think the sound of um, the rain in the background may be nice. Okay. Erect body. That's the first one. That sound wasn't nice. Sorry, I moved the microphone. Erect body. Uh, the kind that produces audible noises and a hand on your hunched back. It's uh, This is from yesterday, me doing the Spartan race, plus a uh, wad, a workout of the day. That's what they call it in CrossFit. Right after... So I was coming home from the Spartan race. I woke up at 3.30. I've never done anything like a race or a, an Ironman, a marathon, anything like that. I don't plan to. Uh, it, I don't know. I don't run well. I definitely don't swim well. I sink straight to the bottom. And uh, I've been known to run like – imagine a refrigerator rolling down the street with the doors flopping. That's kind of like how I run. And so – uh, I'm much better now, but I don't. I'm not interested in these long distance things, right? Events. Um, but the Spartan race sounded fun because it was like adult recess. You're getting muddy. There was drizzle. You know, you're hopping over walls. Where you're also doing it with a bunch of friends on a team, so it felt it felt um, like it would be a fun time. You know, speaking of nectar. And so uh, I signed up for it, and um, it was harder than I thought because I didn't know that. Uh, more than half of it is uphill. So it's a 5K, and uh, I think a mile and a half of it is just trying to sprint uphill. And then, of course, there's rope climbs and, and all sorts of stuff. Uh, but right after that, I was coming home, and I think I, I was just on a high from, from you know getting up early and running in the mud that uh, I had just enough time to make it to a CrossFit class at 10 30 and uh i was like fuck it i'm gonna do it why not it was one of those like fun christmas workouts uh i think it's called the 12 days of christmas you know a long one and i got there and 
right when I picked up the weight, <laughs> I felt in my body, like my body was saying, oh, hell no. What are you thinking? But I pushed my way through it. And of course, this morning I woke up sore, sore like when I first fell into the fitness well years ago when we used to do uh, two a days, as we call it, work two workouts a day. Um, and this is before I had any, uh, <laughs> this is before I, I had a life, I guess. I was building my life. And um, there's something amazing about uh, feeling like you've earned something. So when I feel sore, like a good sore, right? Not the kind of sore where you're like in pain, but like a really good sore. Um, it's proof that you've earned something, you know? It means something because no one can take that away from you. So I think that is nectar, and I felt that this morning. Waking up to the rain. I live in Los Angeles. Rain doesn't come much, so when it does, it almost feels like, um, like, like I guess, equivalent to in some other areas, like you wake up and it's snowing, right? And so uh, – and it's not like hard pouring rain, uh, but it's more than a drizzle. And just waking up to kind of an overcast day when it's raining uh for me it's one of my favorite things in this life it's cozy makes the coffee richer uh time slows down feels like you're in a book it's the only time you stare without spinning thoughts and it makes the moments crisp another thing that's producing nectar for me today is um my new private community it's a uh I have three communities on a private platform off of social media, so there's no ads or algorithms. And it reminds me of um, it reminds me when I when I created password protective uh, protected group blogs on Tumblr years ago as a way to like uh, do a virtual group. And I know it sounds very analog, but I kind of feel like there's just so much tech these days that. Um, there's something really refreshing now, I think, going back to just writing to each other. And so this private platform, um, of course, it's tech heavy. It has uh, Zoom like features and all these things and you post, you know, videos and all this. But um, the main the main thing is forums. The main thing is just um, words to people. And I love it. I love how simple that is uh, without any kind of distractions like ads and, and, and algorithms. So that has been nectar for me. Also, uh, socks. Socks is nectar, especially when it's cold. And um, there's nothing worse than cold feet, as you know, unless unless you have a pair of warm legs, not yours, that you can slip your cold feet in between. And uh, to me, that is also nectar and feels better than socks usually i'm the cold legs and my partner is uh, actually no, usually i'm the warm legs and then my partner uh is the cold feet that uh she has the cold feet that, that she's slipping in between my warm legs when we go to sleep and so i i sacrifice my body heat for my partner ladies and gentlemen that is love right there all right the other um nectar in my life today is uh, um, eye contact with my daughter. Now, let me explain because it's not just eye contact. It's like it's the um, split second past her being curious. And of course, she'll get annoyed very fast and turn away, right? But there's like the split second past curiosity before she breaks when I can spot insecurity and vulnerability and i know she's only three but i see it in her eyes and i know that because it's there we're gonna have a close and honest relationship and it melts me you know it's like when you see the big paws on a puppy and you know that the puppy is going to be a big dog based on the paws right the paws are proof well it's this split second that i see her showing herself to me that uh, melts my heart and is pure nectar for me. And the final thing I thought of this morning that's nectar, uh, it's a little TMI, but um, it wouldn't be me if I wasn't because I've been inappropriate uh, since 2010. 
my morning wood is iron these days. I'm trying this new uh, testosterone cream because uh, men don't produce as much uh, as they get older. And as I swim toward 50, I want to make sure that all my levels are good. Uh, and my testosterone has been low for uh, for many years uh, just due to um, poor sleeping patterns and stuff. And uh, these days, I can um, dent metal with my boner. I mean, not all day, just in the morning. <laughs> and it's not like I'm not taking steroids. It's not like it's there's rage there, right? It's a vibrancy that I haven't felt since my 20s. Um, man, testosterone is everything for men. It, and it's not just like... I'm not just talking about boners and sex. I'm just talking about feeling good, feeling clear, feeling powerful, um, that energy that runs through us. You know the feeling you get when you uh, do a, a hard workout and the dopamine that's shooting um, or that you know you pick something up and you just feel strong? It's that feeling. And unfortunately, um, as you get older, especially men, uh, it starts to really – dissolve diminish and um, when your testosterone is low you can't sleep well testosterone is made in your sleep so if you're not sleeping well you're not producing testosterone and so like it just gets worse and worse so i'm i'm doing a little bit of cream a little bit of um cream on my nuts at night and uh it's been seeping in and at 3 a.m uh the tent is pitched you know, I wish it wouldn't come till later, like six or six or seven. But uh, for some reason, like three a.m., just wood is iron. Anyway, it's not the boners that that's nectar for me. It's the 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 uh, the increase in testosterone. It's the feeling of alive and vibrancy. Let me ask you a question: What is the nectar in your life? But more importantly. Are you practicing this? Are you practicing finding life in your life instead of waiting for? I have a lot of clients right now who are waiting, and I'm doing everything I can to get them to practice seeking nectar, to practice finding life in your life. I know a lot of single people. It's really hard, and I get it. I've been single before. Uh, I've been single many times. I've been single uh, stretches of years. And when you are wanting to be in a relationship or you're wanting to find love, um, especially if all the areas of your life are, are going good, you know, um, it, I think it's actually harder when you have a, a great career and a fire in your belly and amazing friends and like the only life piece that's missing is a good partner, right? It, it's almost like it, it just it makes that missing part shine more it's like it's like someone with with one missing front tooth um you can see it and you choose to daily and it sinks you that to me is harder than if you're rebuilding your life and there's a lot of parts of your life that you don't like um and being you know ha not having a partner is one of them well at least with that you're so busy working on the other parts of your life that it doesn't you know you're not putting a black light to your your you being single Anyway, I know a lot of people who um, have really good lives and they've built amazing things, but they haven't found love or they haven't found someone they wanted to they want to invest in. And uh, so they're dwelling on that. They're hoping. They're waiting. They're tying. They're happy to that. And in a way, they're suffering, and they're not enjoying or allowing themselves to enjoy all the things that they've built. Uh, they're not leaning into the nectar in their life. And so, if you're one of these people, or you're not. Because um, finding life in your life applies to, to, to everyone, even if you are extremely wealthy and you have everything. And I'm not saying that, uh, you know, wealth is everything, but like, you know, you, you know, you, you have, there's nothing else that you want. This mindset is required because it's not about how many things you have or what you've built. It's about the intersection between gratitude and mindfulness, and that is a practice. So ask, your, ask yourself, um, how are you finding life in your life today? How are you practicing this? Because um, you're going to get a lot of things in this life. You're going to lose a lot of things in, your, in this life. You're going to go up. You're going to go down. 
Um, but having this ability, no matter where you're at in your life, to find joy and nectar, uh, it's going to be one of the most valuable tools that you will ever have. Thank you for listening. Be well.